Now we started now 12th accountancy. 12th accountancy are divided in three volumes. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3. Volume 1 is not not for profit organizations, partnerships and admission of partnerships, retirement, days and dissolutions. Volume 2 is started now companies and volume 3 is analysis of financial statement. Today we started now volume 1. In volume 1, the first chapter is not for profit organization. Not for profit organization. Yeah, non-profit organization. Not for profit organizations. Yeah, non-profit organization. What do you mean by not profit organizations? Not the means of not means nahi. Organization profit means fila and organizations means social. The organizations are those organizations which establish for service motive. We started now service motive. We started for organization and service motive. Hospital, school, library. It is the example of non-profit organizations. The main motive of non profit organizations is service motive. But these organizations also prepare three accounts. The first is received and payment account. Next is income and Expenditure or next the last is balance. Again, in not for profit organizations are uh, those organizations with motive is service motive. In the in this organization, we prepare three accounts. The first is called receive and payment account. Next is called income and expenditure account, and next is called balance All of you know that the accounts are divided in two types. The first is called trustal account, and next is called impersonal account. Trustal account are those accounts which are prepared for the person. For example, Ram's account, Mohan's account, Sohan's account. And impersonal account are those accounts which are prepared for non person. For example, Land account, building account, machinery account. In non personal account, also divided in two types real account and nominal account. And in personal account, also is divided in three types natural person, artificial person, and representative person. Here, receive and payment account is real account. Receive and payment account is real account. What is the definition of real account? Real account are those account which prepared for only for equal balance. That means which have touched, seen, and which are related for physical existence. Land, building, machine, that is called physical existence. And this is account, this is the real account. It is a summary of cash book. It is a summary of cash book. We started in the civil payment account, we started two sides, the left hand side and right hand side. The left hand side is called receive side and right hand side is called payment side. In the civil payment account, we prepare not a current year, we prepare every year, past year, previous year and current year also. There is a difference between cash book and the civil payment account. Cash book we prepare for during the month, during the year, but receive and payment account we call it past, previous and present. Again, the next account is called income and expenditure. You know that in profit organizations, we prepare three accounts, trading account, PL account and balance sheet. This syllabus only in class 11, but today we will start in our class 12. Now, Profit organization will prepare three accounts, trading account, profit and loss account, and balance. In trading account, we prepare gross profit. The main objective of trading account is to calculate gross profit and gross loss. And in profit and loss account, the main motive in profit and loss account is to calculate net profit or net loss. And balance it. Balance it is not an account, it is a statement. It is a statement. In the balance sheet, there are two sides. The left hand side is 
called lambda side and the other one is called SSR. So, in the north of the organization, we prepare income and expenditure. Income, that is income, that is not a profit, that is revenue. And expenditure, that is expense. So, income and expenditure, the motive of income and expenditure for preparation is surplus and deficit. Again, income and expenditure account is prepared for calculation of surplus and deficit. Surplus and deficit. What is surplus? Surplus means exchange income over expenditure. And expenditure means over income and over expenses. Over income. And not balancing. Balancing is a statement. In what for profit organization? Balance is prepared two ways. The first is called opening balance sheet and next is called closing balance sheet. Why you prepare opening balance sheet? Opening balance sheet we prepare for calculation of capital fund. Because in profit organization, the capital is also given, but in not for profit organization, there is no capital. The question is arising now, what are the main sources of not for profit organization? The main sources of not for profit organization is subscription. What the meaning of subscription? That means chanda. Subscription. Suppose that you have an organization of library. In library, there's income expenses, purchasing of book, payment of staff, payment of rent. Where is money is coming from? How? What are the source you have to pay the rent, you pay the salary, you pay purchase the book. So you receive resources for subscription for the members. Members. Member that is your organization's member. You have to receive for the members and other person. So the main source of not for profit organization is subscription. Now we explain receipt and payment account. Receipt and payment account has a two sides. The first side is called receipt side. Amount and payment side. And amount. This is and payment call is begin with opening cash balance and opening cash in hand and opening cash at bank. You write now to balance BD. The balance BD under balance BD you write cash in hand and cash at bank. Again, in receipt and payment account, we started for two balance PD. The two balance PD means opening cash in hand and cash at bank. And again, we have explained now receipt. There are two types of receipt. The first receipt is called revenue receipt and next receipt is called capital receipt. What is revenue receipt? The trick is revenue receipt is the receipt you again and again during the month. For example, salary. You have not received one time salary. You see monthly salary. Interest. Simple interest. Subscription, donation, entry fees, interest, uh, interest fees, sale of old newspaper, that is called revenue receipt. And next is capital receipt. The receipt we have one time during the year. For example, sale of land, sale of building, sale of machine. Suppose that you have sale of building monthly. Suppose that that you have to sell building, for what you also sale, mart also sale. That sale of building is converted into 
revenue receipt, not a capital receipt. But you see a lot building during the year, yeah, after two years, yeah, after five years, on one time, that is called capital receipt. In receipt and payment account, we all receive revenue receipt and capital receipt, both are recorded to revenue receipt. In the revenue receipt, we write subscription, donation, interest fee, and after that, we write capital receipt. In capital receipt, we write down sale of land, sale of machine, sale of investment, that is called capital receipt. After that, in payment side, the payment side also payment has a two types. The first is revenue payment and next is capital payment. Revenue payment are those payment we have to pay during the month, during the year, again and again. For example, rent paid, salary paid, purchase of newspaper, interest paid, that is called revenue payment and capital payment which are related for purchase of fixed assets. Now what is fixed assets? You also know that the fixed assets are those assets which have physical, physical existence. For example, land, building, machine, that is called fixed asset. So in payment side, you started now by revenue payment. In revenue payment, the example of revenue payment, rate, paid, salary, paid, interest, paid, newspaper, and then after capital payment. In capital payment, books, machinery, land, it is. After that, at the end of receipt and payment account, you write in payment side by balance CD. In balance CD, you write closing cash in hand. And cash at bank. Again, this is again now we started today not for profit organizations. In not for profit organizations, we prepared three accounts. The first is called receipt and payment account, next is called income and expenditure account, and next is balancing. In receipt and payment account is a summary of cash book, it is a real account. Suppose that the question evolutions. The question is uh, what is receipt and payment account? And the uh, marks is one. To define receipt and payment account is a summary of cash book. Suppose the two marks you write receipt and payment account is summary of cash book. It is prepared by not for profit organization. It is a real account. In receipt and payment account, we have two sides, the left hand side and right hand side. The left hand side is called receipt side and the right hand side is payment side. In left hand side, the question is two balance BD. We started beginning of cash in hand and cash at bank. What the meaning of beginning? Suppose that your accounting year is 1st April and that day you have a cash the cash at bank, that amount is called beginning. The two balance BD is cash in hand and cash at bank. And in receipt and payment account, we started beginning of cash in hand and cash at bank. Then of course, you write two revenue received. The revenue received means the receipt you again and again in month, in year. For example, subscription, donations, 
200 is God's standing for this month. You know that. What is my fees? Yeah, what is the school fees? You give me 500 and 200 is God's standing. That means total my fees is 700. You recorded income and expenditure account. You recorded income and expenditure account. Rupees 700. You received how many? 500. You don't receive how many? 200. But you recorded in this account? 700. Recorded in this account? All of it? 2700. So, income and expenditure account, one thing is recorded revenue receipt and revenue payment. And next thing is recorded during the year 2019, either you receive or not. So, in left hand side is called expenditure amount and income. Expenditure amount and income. In same thing, in expenditure also, you record it, expenditure is current year recorded. 2019 expenses, either you pay or not pay, but record it in income and expenditure account. Suppose that to rent, that is your revenue payment, to rent. Suppose that you have paid 10 month rent at the rate of 400, that is called 4000 you have to pay already. But you record it during the year, that is 12 months accounts are recorded. You pay only 10 months, the 2 month is outstanding in your So rate is you have paid suppose that 4000 and add outstanding. 2 months and 400 at the rate of 2, 800, you recorded 4800. You only paid 400, but total rent is 800, 4800. Or 800 is your outstanding, so you recorded 4800 in the received income and expenditure account. But in receipt and payment account, you record only 400, because you have to receive 400, 4000. Here, income and expenditure account, you recorded 4800. That means, in income and expenditure account, during the year, that means, March, April to March, and my expenses are recorded in expenditures. Which type of expenses? The expense, that is for revenue payment. The payment, again and again, during the month, that is called revenue payment are recorded in income and expenditure account in expenditures. Next to salary to interest paid to late salary paid to stationary to depreciation. Here, recording by subscription and current year outstanding by donation by interest fee by sale of old newspaper. Suppose that the income side is increased as compared of expenditure. So you have total with income side and that is also right here and your balance sheet that is called two surplus. To surplus. What is surplus? Again, surplus excess income over expenditure. And suppose that expenses increase as compared to income, then you write by deficit that is called excess expenditure over. So today 
Now I explain, receive and payment account and income and expenditure account. Now next class we will explain current year, previous year, how to calculate revenue subscription for current year, how to calculate rate for current year. So next class will be started now, how to calculate current year income and current year expenditure. Okay now, thank you.